Okay, Active Before's Yonji Denise is in Washington and reports from tonight's presidential gala. Good evening and welcome to the Presidential Pearl Gala. This is a very special event. A lot of folks from Hawaii are here and folks from around the world. They've all gathered to honor the late Senator Daniel Inouye. As the nation celebrates one native son. Hi. Hi. We're here from Chicago, Illinois. Yeah. Tonight, hundreds gather to honor another. And I want to personally thank so many of you who are here this evening for the outpouring of support that you have shown since Dan's passing. I know that he is with us in spirit this evening, and he would be overwhelmed by this great turnout. Senator Daniel Inouye's widow told the crowd he laid the groundwork so that others could succeed. He would have really loved the fact that <clears throat> there were so many people who had come together to really celebrate the fact that Asian Pacific Americans have made such a difference and there's so much potential going forward. Two lawmakers now serving our state say they owe much to the late senator. So he was truly not only Hawaii senator but the senator for the United States. He was the true leader that we will all miss. He laid the foundation upon which we will build, and he expects us to go forward in unity and strength. That spirit of unity is palpable in Washington, D.C. As the finishing touches are put into place for tomorrow's big day, this city is alive. There's a friendly feeling. Everybody uh, is getting to know each other, whether it's in restaurants or in elevators or on the, on the subway. And you just start chatting with people about where they're from and what their story is and why they're so excited about this president. A lot of people toasting the night away, celebrating as Barack Obama is prepared to be inaugurated for a second time. All these folks have to be up bright and early tomorrow morning if they want to catch it. We will carry it live and we'll see you in the morning. Until then, cheers.